my friends welcome to this channel a new subject to talk about i'm talking about everything that is trending everything that we can learn something from and now we're going to talk about uh, uh, netflix something that in my house um not that is not allowed but we do not watch garbage <clears throat> Netflix sadly turned itself into a propaganda machine for the far left. And uh, as they've done some uh, things that we do not agree with, we decided to cut the cord. But by Netflix, there is Pure Flix, there is uh, other sources of uh, wholesome entertainment. Daily Wire, if you really want to pay for something good, Pure Flix and Daily Wire are my recommendation from this channel. Respect yourself, don't go for garbage. And uh, sadly, Netflix, it became so. But <clears throat> let's talk still about the creator of Dharma. Dharma, a series that uh, has so much success. Stranger Things 4 is more successful than Dharma. Dharma, you know, the murderer, psychopath, the gay man that was killing doing all those kind of horrible things now <clears throat> he had a tag lgbtq tag and people got uh, so much out outrage and no uh, netflix uh, they submitted to the mob they removed the tag the creator of dark mcdowell the fellow that you've seen a uh, few seconds before this message starts he didn't like it at all Ryan Murphy is the name of the director, the Hollywood director who co-created the recent series on the serial killer Jeffrey Dunn. And he condemned Netflix for bowing to walk critics. Now, what did it actually happen? In late September, Netflix removed its LGBTQ tag from Darkman Monster, the Jeffrey Dunn story, the dramatized biographical film of the infamous serial killer. The streaming platform presumably attached the LGBTQ tag to the show because uh, Dagma was a gay man who primarily preyed upon, yeah, upon gay men. But this didn't sound good, uh, this didn't sit good with the LGBTQ mob. So they removed it. What did Murphy say? He spoke uh, in a extensive interview with the new york times fake news new york times and he said something as such he said i do not i let me quote <clears throat> the rule of my career that's what he said the rule of my career has been the more specific you are the more universal you can become I also, yeah, I also don't think that all gay stories have to be happy stories, he explained. There was a moment on Netflix where they removed the LGBTQ tag from Dahmer, and I didn't like it, and I asked why they did it. And they said because people were upset, because it was an upsetting story. I was like, oh, well, yeah, but it was a story of a gay man, and more importantly, his gay victims, Murphy said. Moreover, Murphy said he believes the way that he told Dahmer's story highlighted uh, how a white privilege allowed Dahmer to get away with victimizing gay people and racial minorities. Of course. Of course, the fellow is coming from Hollywood. He is a woke activist himself. Ryan Murphy is his name. There's a reason why I'm not watching. I do not entangle myself with uh, the things of this world. I don't watch Hollywood movies. I encourage uh, indie movies, especially Christian movies, and even if the movies are not Christian, if they have a good story to tell, I will watch, but I don't watch garbage. It's sad because people are fascinated by Jeffrey Dahmer and uh, they watch so much, uh, that means profit for Netflix. But me, eh, from this channel, I do not encourage watching that garbage. Why do I fill your heart and mind with a uh, horrible thing? Why to do this? Um, There's a sad story of someone that was tormented. 
someone that uh, was not okay mentally, spiritually, demon possessed, and he did all those horrible things. And uh, he got his pain for what he did. Someone took his life in the prison. That's how Jeffrey Dahmer ended. Uh, that's my comment to this. I wanted to highlight what the, the co-director of Jeffrey Dahmer said. How upset he was that uh, Netflix removed the LGBTQ tag. See you soon, friends. God bless you all. And until next time, stay close to Jesus because he is all we got. See you soon.